Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Book of Exodus, Chapter 36 Bezalel and Oholiab shall work with every wise-hearted man, in whom Yahweh has put wisdom and understanding, to know how to work all the work for the service of the sanctuary, according to all that Yahweh has commanded. Moses called Bezalel and Oholiab, and every wise-hearted man, in whose heart Yahweh had put wisdom, even every one whose heart stirred him up to come to the work to do it. And they received from Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary with which to make it. They brought yet to him freewill offerings every morning. All the wise men who performed the work of the sanctuary, each came from his work which they did. They spoke to Moses, saying, people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which Yahweh commanded to make. Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make anything else for the offering for the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing, for the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it, and too much. All the wise-hearted men among those who did the work made the tent with ten curtains of fine twined linen, blue purple and scarlet. With cherubim, the work of the skillful workmen, they made them. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains had one measure. He coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. He made loops of blue on the edge of one curtain from the edge in the coupling. Likewise he made in the edge of the curtain that was outmost in the second coupling. He made fifty loops in the one curtain, and he made fifty loops in the edge of the curtain that was in the second coupling. The loops were opposite one to another. He made fifty clasps of gold, and coupled the curtains one to another with clasps, so that the tent was a unit. He made curtains of goat's hair for a covering over the tent. He made them eleven curtains. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and four cubits the breadth of each curtain. The eleven curtains had one measure. He coupled five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves. He made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was outmost in the loop coupling, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain which was outmost in the second coupling. He made fifty clasps of brass to couple the tent together, that it might be a unit. He made a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering of sea cow hides above. He made the boards for the tent of acacia wood, standing up. Ten cubits was the length of a board, and a cubit and a half the breadth of each board. Each board had two tenons, one joined to another. He made all the boards of the tent this way. He made the boards for the tent, twenty boards for the south side southward. He made forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for its two tenons, and two sockets under another board for its two tenons the second side of the tent. On the north side he made twenty boards, and their forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. For the far part of the tent westward he made six boards. He made two boards for the corners of the tent, in the far part. They were double beneath, and in like manner they were all the way to its top to one ring. He did thus to both of them, in the two corners. There were eight boards, and their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, under every board two sockets. He made bars of acacia wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tent, and five for the boards of the other side of the tent, and five bars for the boards of the tent for the hinder part westward, 
He made the middle bar pass through in the midst of the boards from the one end to the other. He overlaid the boards with gold, and made their rings of gold for places for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. He made the veil of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen, with cherubim. He made it the work of a skillful workman. He made four pillars of acacia for it, and overlaid them with gold. Their hooks were of gold. He cast four sockets of silver for them. He made a screen for the door of the tent, of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen, the work of an embroiderer, and the five pillars of it with their hooks. He overlaid their capitals and their fillets with gold, and their five sockets were of brass.